bliss. Hey, I welcome you to Unlocking Merida Bliss, and it's such a pleasure that you can be part of this particular show. I want you to understand that tonight we want to talk about communication and failed communication. Probably if you're going to ask yourself, what is communication? That's going to be a big question. What is communication? Yes. And in many instances, we want to concentrate on one area of communication, and that's nagging. N-A-G-G-I-N-G, -G -G, nagging. What do you do? What do you do with nagging? What is nagging? Many have their own interpretations or meanings or definitions, but the reality is nagging is continually harassing somebody to do something. Is it done by the female? Is it done by the male? Generally, many believe it's done by the female. We want to find out this particular afternoon whether it's only done by the female and what does it show? Does it show true communication? No, it shows a failed communication. And I want you to come with me this particular afternoon and I'll show you more about nagging and how to overcome it. See you in a bit. You're so much welcome. You're watching and locking my radio place with me, Cyrus Road. Like I've told you, we're talking about nagging, failed communication. Some of you think nagging, by nagging, you're communicating. No, that's failed communication. Is it gender sensitive? We want to find out. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce my guest. He's a usual man on this particular set. And on Unlocking Marita Bliss, he's our buddy. Many of you have been blessed by him ministering to you. And I want to say to you, your life is not going to remain the same. So welcome with me, my brother, Pastor Philip Nyombi. Yes, sir. You're so much welcome to Unlocking Marita Bliss. It's my pleasure to be here again. Thank you for always saying yes to our invitation. It is my pleasure and you know when you have something to contribute and someone needs it, you have to do it. That's what I believe as a Bible believer. Yes. That's what you believe. Yes. Thank you so much. It's been a while. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Uh, I don't know how to say it, but it has been really a quite another side of beginning. Yeah. As we always see political and other areas of influence trying to fight for power. So it has been a different type of beginning the year. So this has been a really, really different one. A different but we are here and we celebrate and we thank God for our lives. Amen. That's yes. so very beautiful. Yes, sir. Now this afternoon, I would like to, would like us to talk about uh, nagging. You know, communication, there's communication. But in communication, there's a word called nagging. Mm. You believe communication is important in a relationship? Very fundamental, very fundamental. important. It's the basic of the marriage. It's the basis of marriage. Yes. So if you're going to stay together, you've got to know the art yeah, of, communication. of communication. And that's what we're dealing with. Yes, sir. So I'm able to talk to my wife. She's able to talk back to me. Yes. Is communication a one-way thing or as long as I tell you what to do and move on? No, communication is a two-way traffic you okay. speak and someone speaks back and communication has no formula or like you have a format a formula of how you communicate communication comes in diverse ways whereby the way you communicate in the morning may change in the afternoon and change in the evening change at night change according to the weather according to the needs so communication has variety of way i call it approach so yes. communication is an approach style so when you say i'm communicating you can't say you're communicating alone. You have to be having an audience. But hey, hey, Pastor Philip, you yes. gotta look at this. Mm -hmm. Here in African culture, or probably in most worldwide, mm. as long as the man speaks, why would the woman speak? Uh, I am an African man, Pastor. Uh -huh. I am a Muganda by tribe, raised by a, a man okay. to train me to do things and how to do it. He has never told me that that a man speaks and no answer, and then that is communication. Uh, in marriage, some people which, I mean, those people, because there are difference between marriage, yes. cohabiting, uh -huh. uh, living together, there are so many sets in that. Okay, but we're talking about marriage. But we are talking about marriage mm -hmm. here. If you say you're married yes. to a woman, yes. uh, somebody's daughter, yes. the very sense of getting married is to be together. So you yes. communicate together, 
you talk together, you do all things together because that is marriage. We talked about it long time ago. You're together. You're together. You're one. You're one. Then you have to talk together. So she talks, I talk. You, you do. I don't mean like... Not, or you shouldn't be like, the man only, I'm the man, I'm the man. And, and if someone goes on to say, I am the man, then you're not sure whether you are a man or not. Because there is no need of reaffirming to somebody that you are the man. Actually, I've noticed every time somebody, a male, says, I am the man, yeah. it's after they've done something stupid. Yeah, you're seeking attention for nothing. You are a man and everyone knows about it. No one comes up like, and say, I am a woman. You know, I am a woman. Why we men choose to say that we are men always? No, that's not it. But if you say you're married, I want to get back to the foundation. Yes. If you say you're married, you went ahead and talked to this girl, this particular one, among the thousands across yes. the nation of the earth. It was communication that you spoke to her. And she spoke And back. she spoke back to you. She never stayed quiet because you're the man. And if she stays qui quiet, you can take years without knowing her intentions. If you still love her, you have to wait until she speaks back to you. And then you agreed. If you went ahead met the parents and reaffirmed your confession to the girl that I love this girl. And they spoke back to you by saying, here you are, you can take her. Do ABC. And you went to the authorities, be it the government or you went to the church, you went to the authority, you appeared before God. You made your vows. Mm -hmm. You communicated to God that with my life, I'm taking this girl from this day henceforth. henceforth. She will be my partner. Yes. She will be my life helper. Then you yes. communicated. That was communication all through. Yes. Why is it that after years, 5, 10, 20, 30, you're no longer finding interest in communication? You kill the communication by reaffirming that I am the man here. I'm the one to speak. Could it be that uh, after a while, some men can get scared? They don't know what to do in marriage. They came in, they didn't know what marriage was. Now they look at the responsibilities that mm -hmm. come with marriage, mm -hmm. and now they want to have control, and they're just tired of everything now. Even if, when you choose to go that way of control, control does not give you the satisfaction you're looking for. Say that again. Because control will not give you the satisfaction that you're looking for, because you are being selfish. You mean when I come in and I tell everybody, I'm the man, I'm the man and nobody does anything. I say it, it's final. You are being selfish and you will not get the satisfaction that you are looking for. My brother, if you are in marriage, you are no longer the man that you think you are. You are married. There are two different parts that are put together to make marriage. I'm no longer on my own. You are no longer on your own. And uh, when you are trying to run away from the responsibilities and the requirements that are required of you as a married person by reaffirming who you are in life, then you're wrong. This is my idea of those men, of which I'm not one of them. I believe you. Uh, and I uh, you. if you think you, are, you have that insecurity, yeah. I call it insecurity. Yes. Each day you come back to your house at the door, you say, I am the owner of this house. I am the owner of this compound. I am the owner of this car. I've been at this door. This is my door. You should open th this door for me. I mean, that is insecurity, which is uncalled for you know, in marriage. Can I just interject? Go ahead. I yeah. love what you're saying. You come in and you say, I'm the owner of this house. Yeah. You know, 90% of the people watching us right now, that's what you do. I'm the owner. Who doesn't know? <laughs> Who doesn't know that you are? Uh, maybe I'm beginning to doubt. I'm thinking the woman is taking Then that is over. insecurity, which is, not un which is uncalled for in so marriage. you're full of fear. Yeah, you're full of fear that you mentioned earlier. You fear nothing because you started and, all and, this. And the Bible says perfect love drives out all fear. fear. So if I am scared as a man, mm -hmm. then I can't even be able to love. You can't. You can't. Because you can't. Love, love and fear don't work together. Uh, one of the days... Uh, one of the programs that uh, you brought me up to, yes. we talked about marriage as a sacrifice. Yes. And l l marriage is achieved by vows. Yes. Which vows we don't make them to people. But we to make God. them to God. Come on. And God confirms that you are now the man. Yes. You are the head of the family. If always God comes up and says, I am God, I am God, 
I'm God, and any the sound goes across we'll the nations bored. of here. We got bored of that. We get tired. Like, Dude, we know you are. Yeah, we know we you know. are the creator of heaven and earth. If a boss at a certain company comes up every day and says, I am the boss, I'm the manager here. I, I am the manager. We get tired of that, and we resign from that. We may not resign on paper, but yeah. we refrain from hearing what you have to say every day. We even begin to mimic. When you're exactly. coming, we say, he's going to say this. And then you say it and we laugh. You become so predictable. We are creating our own field of joy because you are too much on us. So if you are a man and you have that insecurity, this is what I want to bring to you, my brother. Just understand, put it to your mind. You are the man. You don't need to tell it to anyone else. Don't provoke the children. Don't provoke the indwellers of your home by telling them who you are. It's under training. Some even will reach out to their children and mm -hmm. they say, hey, hey, so you think you're the man here, eh? You've forgotten I'm the man, eh? Try me now, eh? Come, let's fight, eh? You can handle me. Mm -hmm. I'm the man. And the father is doing that to his children. That is, I, I want to use the word, I don't know if it is acceptable on this set. If it is not, then I own my word. That is useless. It's very acceptable. It's, sound yo, it is I useless know. for you. To stage up a fight with your kids, to stage up a fight with the indwellers, maybe your brother, in, your brother-in-law, your sister-in-law, your your wife, and everybody that lives in, under your home, and you stage up a fight to confirm to them that you're a man by physical way of approach. We confirm to the people that we live with by providence, by providing, by example. Example. By demonstration, yes. by living the life we want them to emulate. I do not do something ridiculous. Yeah. And then when I'm told, I answer back, I'm a man. No. There is no right to doing wrong. I mean, there is no right to behave stupidly. Yes. Kind of. Be, there is no right. No one that has that right. No one Even has a right. The guys that shout, I'm a man. No, you have no right to tell us that because we see it in the actions we see, in the way you behave, we see it, in the way you speak, we see it. We hear your voice is very audible than anyone else in the house. So there are so many things that demonstrates you to be a man than you speaking it. We see that you take on the Just responsibility. A lot of talk and yeah. not walk. No, you have to work out your manhood. You have to demonstrate it by the things you do in a positive way. Now, all of that, even my actions are part of communication. Yes, it is. My words are part of communication. Yes. Because I may be able to say something and fail at it. Yes. And that's part of communication. Yes. Now, like you have mentioned that when I come in as a man, if... The insecurity, yes. which is the fear mm -hmm. in me, yeah. is what causes me to begin speaking all that and cause fear in the home that I believe if anybody quakes in my presence, mm -hmm. then I'm a man, mm -hmm. then I do all that kind of stuff. I'm full of fear. Mm -hmm. And because of this fear, I think nobody should tell me what to do. Remember, we agreed, I was because most men believe I do the speaking, mm -hmm. And they do the listening. The listening. <laughs> now you've corrected that, mm -hmm. that since we are married, we are one. Yeah. She does the speaking, mm -hmm. I do the listening. Yes. I do the speaking, mm -hmm. she does the listening. Mm -hmm. It's a two-way traffic. Yes. We work together with it. Mm -hmm. Now you having been able to bring that out, mm -hmm. I would like to once again break it to this point. Mm -hmm. That now that we agree that's how it is, mm -hmm. There is a moment because I'm scared. Mm. When you tell me to do something, I feel like you don't know I'm a man. Mm. You don't know I'm the head of this home. Mm -hmm. You don't know I, I wear the pants. Mm -hmm. And you know, amazingly, today even women wear pants. Mm -hmm. So uh, at times, because some guy will say, I wear the pants in the house. But you see, there's something much more. Mm -hmm. Let me break it here. A woman comes, mm. your wife comes, and tells you, or uh, you need to make sure you clear so and so and make sure do A, B, C. Mm -hmm. And you don't do it. Okay. And she, you think like, who is she? Because you still believe you're mm -hmm. the man. Nobody should tell you what to do. Yes. You're the man. Mm -hmm. And then she tells it to you a second time and a third time, and you keep insisting. And the next thing, 
you think you are being harassed. And then you call that nagging. You call it nagging. Mm -mm. I mean, isn't that, what is this? Is that what is nagging? Because I, the wife has told you, please, mm. you need to stop coming back home late. Mm. Because your kids want to meet you, so and so want to meet you, mm. and then you say, um, the wife is nagging. Is that what is proper? Is that what nagging is all about? Well, now you have brought about something that I want to mention. It is respect. Okay. Respect is when somebody tells you what you need to do or you have to do in your capacity. That is respect. Somebody may not understand me. If someone comes up to you and say, hey, Mr. Cyrus, yes. this is your obligation. Yes. This is what you have to do. Yes. Do it as like I suggest. According to your position. That is respect. You're respected because that is in your area power. of power. So yes. that is respect. This girl, this woman, this daughter of someone has respected you by reminding you your responsibilities yes. so that is not nagging mm. taking time and does it twice or thrice or a week or at night or every day she's respecting you knowing very well that that is your responsibility so respect hold on, hold yes on a moment. <laughs> most men believe when you tell them what to do then you're disrespecting no 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 that the, the other way around if you now they need to understand that that is respect it is the other way around my brother because you're the man you're supposed to do abc so yes if somebody tells you do abc mm. they're not disrespecting you they are respecting they are respecting you, you in the sense but now this is where the challenge is i love the way you presented it mm. they are respecting you but most people don't even know that I that's why most men will not take up their responsibility and when they are called upon to do their responsibility they say you're nagging Ign Go ahead on this ignorance record. cannot save you the crime Thank that, you. and you claim you didn't know if you don't know that that is respect now you know now we have we know. are we have told you yes that is respect yes, if your sir. wife comes to you and yes. say hey honey you know so, so and so needs to be paid his money yes. she knows very well that is your responsibility yes and she's reminding you taking her position as a wife respecting you calling you to your responsibility if she went ahead and paid what was yours then you will not understand that thank you that is respect that is respect now there is one way that i want many to understand women yes. L if you are kind of listening to her listen to the woman respectively with respect y with respect because some, some some men just you know they they down you know, look in other words they're thinking when are you stopping so I can yeah, do something I'm else. still going ahead with whatever yes. that I was doing. They I will not, they are, they are trying to be there, wasting the five there. minutes, but they are not there. They are not listening. They are not taking in whatever the woman is saying. And those are the trouble that are being uh, interpreted as uh, nagging. Because you did not listen. Yes. And she has to repeat again. Yes. You did not listen. She has to repeat again. And this one thing I want to bring about, Pastor, if you are listening, then compliment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. How about we do it this uh, way? Uh, yeah, how about we do it this way? I don't have the money now. I don't have this now. I don't have what is required now. How are we? Can you talk You're to that person? You're communicating. You're working together. And that is complimenting. She now understands, or oh, you have listened. Yes. And now you're bringing out that you're not, you're unable. And that's yes. when women say, okay, I have my two million. Why don't we use Can it? we use that? Probably you will put it back because it was to be used on the farm. Yes. And it was used to be A, B, C, D. And that is communication. Compliment your now, woman. Even when she's speaking the things that you don't like. Listen to them and compliment. Oh, you're right. But according to my idea, this is the way I think we should do it. You're right by what you think you're right but now you know you got through details of how to communicate no, totally it's understand. not nagging it's nagging comes when you listen nagging comes when you don't act nagging comes when you don't change nagging comes when you don't adhere to the things that you're being told that's when nagging as per word comes in and nagging and is not bad and you interpret it in that manner but then there's something here that yes. you mentioned yes men okay so the woman they're watching mm -hmm. 
So she says, I have my two million, mm. I have shillings, maybe you could use that, yeah. and then you bring it back because it has to do this. Mm -hmm. And that's the last time she sees that money. After she gives it to you, mm -hmm. the last time she sees it. Because most husbands out there, they don't want to pay back. The moment a woman brings in the money, they don't want to pay back. And the moment she says, uh, that money, I borrowed it from my auntie. Mm -hmm. You're nagging me. Mm -hmm. I, I think we need to take that money back. <laughs> You're nagging me. Yes. Now, it's another way of shutting the woman down because nobody wants to be called nagging. Mm -hmm. You know? Yes. So, am it I is really too nagging? irritating. Yeah. It am is. Am I really nagging? Yeah. Because all I'm saying is that money, I had to borrow it from my friend mm. and now I'm spoiling my name mm. because you don't want to pay the money. Most men out there borrow and never pay back. Oh God, that, I landed into a trouble and I know somebody is watching. I say, hey, let me see what you're going to answer uh, about that. But this one thing I know about marriage, about yes. uh, loving a woman. Yes. If you take interest in the things that your woman enjoys, yes. then you'll be able to stand in and help her whenever she's in need. I'm slowing on the answer yes. because I know the consequences of it. Yes. So if my woman enjoys helping me out and I'm interested in her helping me oh, again, yes. again and again, yes. then I will take interest in the things she enjoys and then work the way together. I'm using much That's wisdom here. Loving. Okay. That's I, loving. I want you to just say it, put it out there, let us face okay. it. Let me drop it. Drop. If you have been helped with the two million, my yes. brother, yes. you are a blessed man. Yes. You're extra beyond the others that are out there. If Amen. your woman can come up and help yes. you financially, yes. keep on paying that woman, Hallelujah. she will keep on helping you out. Hallelujah. This is what I mean. Pick interest in the things that she enjoys. If was, so if she enjoys helping you, all Ganda, Omchalu no Wabanga, you kuyamba. Na kuyamba kwa kuyambi na abo mulisu wa hiriba na achusa. Na hawe nyumiru wa kuyimirira na ye muwebio ya kuyamba kwa. Bo sasura zino. Nebo nabo ya galatana jazireta. Bo zetano. Ne kumia jazireta. Wabanga sobo logende wa senga hawe na nyumiru wa kukwe olera. E wabo siwe na nyumiru wa kukwe olera. Then that is something that is so special that all men, me inclusive, probably don't have. Now that is something... You've brought it out. Yes. That are in simple words. Yes. A good deed. Yeah. Returns another. I mm. mean, deserves another. Mm -hmm. If she has been kind to you, mm. then be kind to her. Yes. Now, when you've broken that all down. Yes. Here we are, the nagging beat of it, mm -hmm. whereby the woman comes in and tells you, shouldn't shouldn't we hold you men responsible and accountable on this? You're supposed to do this. It's respect. Yeah. You're supposed to pay your children's dues, mm -hmm. their fees. Yes. Taking them back to school. Mm -hmm. You're supposed, we're supposed to work together. Mm. And when I tell you that, you get angry, you get irritated mm -hmm. because I'm calling you out. But that is part of respect. Respect, yeah. I'm respecting you. You are. I'm not you are. disrespecting you. you are so doing we it. must understand that my wife talking to me yeah. and showing me where I'm wrong showing me what I'm supposed to do mm. is not disrespect. It, it is respect is instead. Respect. Yeah, it is. Not disrespect. No. And so I think that's where most men go think. wrong. Yeah. They go wrong. Yeah. They usually interpret it as disrespect because culture has told them as long as you sit it over there, you're a man, you do whatever you're doing, mm -hmm. a woman shouldn't tell you what to do. Mm. A woman shouldn't tell you what to do. Mm. So this sense within this consciousness that a woman shouldn't tell me what to do mm -hmm. is why most of the guys remain fail to grow mm -hmm. they remain immature because a woman can tell you hey you don't throw your socks on the floor over there mm -hmm. you pick them up mm -hmm. put them up in the basket mm -hmm. and once you're done hang up your clothes mm -hmm. this and then you feel like how can a woman tell me that mm -hmm. And because to you, you think it's disrespect when in actual sense, it is it's respect. not disrespect, but it's 
respect. T telling you your responsibility. Telling is you your responsibility. Yes. Is respect. Yes. There's a verse in the Bible, Proverbs chapter 6. <laughs> and this is what men need to know. Mm. You see, when you don't take up your responsibility, you are lazy. Yeah. And most men are lazy today. Mm -hmm. And if you keep complaining that they're nagging me, you're just running away from your responsibility. Mm. The ant doesn't have a leader, mm -hmm. doesn't have a ruler, mm -hmm. doesn't have a chip, mm -hmm. but it knows when to gather food. Mm -hmm and store it up in summer, mm -hmm. instead of having pleasure, mm -hmm. it stores its food so that in winter, they enjoy. They can enjoy. Yeah. How many of the men, I mean, you don't need anybody to push you. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you're a man, you don't need the woman to push you. You, you don't, don't need, need her to do that. No. Uh, you just need to know, I'm gonna trust God, I'm gonna be a man, I'm gonna take responsibility, and do all my responsibilities mm -hmm. and by that you, you have a bliss you have your bliss yeah so there's no looking back <laughs> no you're enjoying yes i'll ask you because mm -hmm. people are watching and you've presented it so well mm -hmm. respect disrespect mm -hmm. all that stuff keeps coming in mm -hmm. my question here is a woman is coming mm -hmm. now we are teaching the man mm -hmm. that they can give respect mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. they can give respect mm -hmm. and they need to understand mm -hmm. what respect is yes when a woman is showing you your responsibility mm -hmm. it is respect it we is have respect. already concluded that concluded that thank you yeah now if you throw a tantrum and you yeah. become you become you know irritated <laughs> because they've shown you responsibility yes it is a sign of immaturity mm -hmm. it shows you're still behaving like a child mm -hmm. you remember when we were kids mm -hmm. we never wanted our parents to tell us anything to do no huh? yeah we think and we know better me? yeah <laughs> were you the same kid? i was yeah to me, the and same, he oh, was all of us yes all of us and even you yeah because mama says you're gonna wash the dishes and you're like what ah. uh, <laughs> yeah, again. Uh, again. Yeah. I washed yesterday. Well, yeah. you go wash them again. <laughs> yeah. Didn't you eat yesterday? Yeah. You go eat now again. Even now, yeah. You know, we went through that. Now most of the guys, they never grow. Yeah. They did. It's a sign of immaturity. Yeah. My time. I gotta take a break. Yes. And I'll take it from there right back shortly. And locking Moreto bliss. Unlocking Moreto Bliss. It is just so beautiful. Thank you. You're still watching Unlocking Moreto Bliss with Miss Iris Rod. I'm just so excited with my guest, Philip Nyombi, right here in studio. I am so excited. By the time we took a break, we were breaking it down and realizing that, yes, as a man or as a male, when you're growing up as a child, you never wanted to be told mm. what to do. This, the sinful nature hates responsibility. The mm. only thing we enjoyed as little boys was go play. You know? Do all your all what Do you think you yeah. want. Yeah. Oh, then you felt yeah. yeah. And when they told you time to mop the house. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Again. I don't want that. Again. Mm -mm. Now, guys, you might be married, but you need to grow up. You might be married. Have, being married doesn't mean you've grown up. No, you just have a big body. Yes, you might have grown in the body, but as a person, you're still a baby. Especially when you get angry, when you're told about your responsibility, you're still a baby. So when you get angry, when your wife tells you, you gotta pay school fees, and you think she's nagging you, the reality is this. She's, she's respecting you. you. She's respecting you. Yes. And you better understand that. Please add a line, she's respecting you. Yeah. Because you are, that is your responsibility. 
She as the head of the family. It. Yeah, acknowledging that you are the person. I hear people like in political arena talking about Museven or president or what, because they know that is his, his responsibility, responsibility and they are respecting him to come and do those. So it is so, even in the family. What if he says, I'm tired of you people nagging me? Yeah, you, 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 Where do you want us to go? You're you, the president. You are the answer. I mean, this one thing I want to bring about again. Consider her opinion before making a decision. Yes. That is communication. Yes. She has spoken to you. Before you even answer, consider her opinion. Before you make a decision. Because now she's telling you whatever she's telling you. And she's not calling you to rule over. Like, oh, this is what I've decided. This is what I'm going to do. No. Consider her opinion before making a decision. And then ask her what she thinks over the matter. Yes. You have told me I have to pay the school fees. Yes. W what is your plan? Because pa presently I don't have the cash. Yes. And I'm expecting A, B, C, D. Do you have an opinion? Do you have an idea? Do you have a strategy? Then you are communicating. Then at the end of the matter, you, you're married. Both of you are in this together and so for, li for life. When you consider her ideas, her opinions, then you're respecting her back. In the same way. Because she has told you your responsibility. In a respect, she has respected you. Yes. You're considering her ideas, her strategy, her statements, her opinion, as I yes. can put it. Then you're respecting her back. I yes. can see some peaceful talk on the table. Yes. Honey, you've told me to, to, to pay these bills. Uh -huh. But presently, my accounts are dry. Yes. And, uh, you know, it's the end of the month. Our boss has not yet paid us, blah, 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 blah. I've not sold whatever. I mean, any source of income that both of you know about. And she says, but what are we going to do? Then you're considering her opinion. You're asking her, what do you have on table? Because you thought of this, you told me, I already know, but Maybe now, let's pray. let's pray, let's believe, let's those believe. that pray. Because yes. even not all men that are married do pray. You're I mean, right. I know some men that are just struggling and tussle it out, not all pray. But now, if pray is one of the options, then pray about it. Believe together, understand one another, have peaceful marriage and have a peaceful home. Then if she has done something wrong, be a man that is forgiving. She has spoken back to you rudely, I can say. Yes. Forgive. I said, honey, that's wrong. No, 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 no. I told you, I told you. Then forgive her even before she seeks forgiveness. We talked Absolutely, about yes. long time. Because we are lo all that we are looking for is peace. Yes. Freedom. Make, I mean. And that is able to trigger the prosperity. Yeah, to, to bring about the, the prosperity we are looking for. Yes. If you don't have the answer, then she has. If both of you don't have, then, then God. Then go to God. Then God does. But people don't seek these options. And I, w I want to encourage our viewers to yeah. really learn yeah. that marriage without God is like riding a dead horse. Probably it's You're not even nowhere. marriage. Because it's marriage, not even marriage. marriage is made it with requires three. requires yeah. God yeah. to be within. Yeah. He's the one who keeps you together. Yes. So when the two of you don't have answers, yeah. then God, always remember, he is the answer. Yes. All answers have to be in line with who he is, mm -hmm. in honor of who he is. Mm -hmm. Then this one I want to bring about, Pastor. Mm -hmm. have I, since I've mentioned about forgiving. Yes. Set goals together. Yes. We are avoiding nagging. We are trying to fight nagging. Yes. In, set goals together. Yes. Sit with your woman. Uh -huh. Sit with your family if you have grown up kids like I do, like yes. you do. Set goals that are for the family together. Yes. Then set mini goals that are achieving the major goals with your wife in the inner court. Yes. So if we have set goals together, nagging will not appear. Because we are following a certain set of things to fulfill. Yes. We have agreed we are going to pay school fees. Yes. Then there is no way how she can turn around and say, no, 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 you should have done, you should have done. That is when... Maybe I've misbehaved. I've done something else instead. But if we have set goals together, nagging will appear, will not appear anywhere. Because you are, somebody's reminding you of the goals you set together maybe at the beginning of the year or at the beginning of the term or whatever session, whatever. Own them. Own them. And she's saying, you know, we are green, honey. By this time, we must have paid off this land. And yes. now you, got, you had the money and you didn't do that. What happened? Then you talk back. 
I, I do I did this, this and the other. We take loans as men, which is, shouldn't be as men if it's going to affect the family. Yes. If it is for the family and it is going to benefit the family, involve your family, yeah. involve your kids, those grown up ones, involve your woman. Then nagging will come. Where do you take the money? You've got the money and we don't see it. And you, then you, you shout back to the top of your voice, I'm paying my loans. No, where, where did you? Where who told you to take them loans? Yeah, who told you? What are you doing? That was you not part of our goals. This is happening because communication has it failed. Has failed. Then nagging comes in. Nagging comes Even in. Even what we call interpreted the other, nagging. Even the interpreted nagging. Yeah. Yes. We think they're nagging, but yeah. they're actually not nagging. They're not. You just are trying to avoid. They're telling you there is no food in the store. Stop they are telling you <laughs> we don't have power. Stop nagging me. We, we, water is cut off. Stop nagging me. We don't have transport to school. Ah, I better get out of here. Uh, and then that is, not, that is interpreted that is not nagging. nagging. That's You're being not... called to responsibility. Yes. And most of the men actually have a problem with that. Yes. They're being called to responsibility. And in order to shut their wives down, yeah. they say, You're nagging me. And poor woman goes, Oh, Lord, I don't want to be called a nagging wife. Mm -hmm. You're making it so hard for me. And look, people read the Bible, Proverbs 21, mm. verse 9, mm. verse 19. Mm. You're going to see it. It says, Better to live on the rooftop. Than with a, with a nagging wife. Mm -hmm. Written now, by Solomon. Mm -hmm. A man who had a thousand of them. <laughs> yeah. He couldn't handle one. Yeah. He didn't know how to handle one. He went to he variety th variety. looking for for, for for chance of finding one. He, one. Yeah. And that's not how you find no. one. No. He failed. Yes. And he was able to stand in, and at the end of it, he concluded, yeah. fear God. <laughs> And obey his commandments. Yeah. These a thousand women, they don't make sense at yeah, all. Yeah. So what most men have looked at it as an excuse. Mm -hmm. And they say, well, if you are nagging, if you're a nagging wife, I have a right to go away. Yeah. I have a right to disappear mm -hmm. if you're a nagging what? Mm -hmm. wife. Because even the Bible tells me. Mm -hmm. But what they don't understand, what most of you watching don't understand, is that when your wife, calls you in mm. and when you think she's nagging mm. you're running from responsibility uh -huh. it's like uh, a child mm -hmm. you know mm. most of us in the african culture we grow in families mm. okay yes you're growing families yeah so you can be in a family where your mama is just only spoiling you mm -hmm. you get it yes and she says, oh, you can wake up anytime you want. Mm. You can eat whatever. It's okay. The maids will clean your room. Mm. They will do this. Mm. Then you go to visit Uncle Cyrus. Okay? Yeah. When you visit Uncle Cyrus, Uncle Cyrus says, wake up, everybody. Mm. We got to pray. Hey, you're going to mop. You're going to clean the outside. You're going to do this. And then you feel like... This is too much. This is too I, much, yeah. I want to go back home. This is another training. I want to go back home. <laughs> yes. Now, this is what I call men who run away from homes. Yeah. And they park in bars. Mm. And they stay there until it's 2 a.m. to find their wives sleeping. That shows you have failed as a man. Mm. Living on the rooftop is being ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Because why? You're a coward. Mm. Cowards run to the rooftop. Mm -hmm. The courageous stay, stay and they deal with the situation mm. and they don't run away from they their don't. wives. They don't. They yeah. don't. But Solomon is depicting cowards. Mm -hmm. They would rather be on the rooftop alone. <laughs> sulking. They spoke against me. Yeah. I don't like. You play silent treatment because they told you what to do. Mm. You don't like anybody correcting you. You're very lazy. Yeah. And then you say, well, because they left. I mean, I would rather stay with my friends. I'll go back home at 2 a.m. You're a coward. Yeah. Hear me, you are a coward. If you're going back home at 2 a.m. because you can't stand your wife, who's going to stand her? It's your responsibility. It is, yeah. You stand her, yeah. learn to love her, mm -hmm. learn to take responsibility, mm -hmm. and you will not see any nagging. You won't see any kind of a mess anymore. So, it won't happen. Uh, this has come to me. Yes. If you are, you want to learn to take on your responsibility. Yes. First of all, if you have done all sorts of other tryings and they have not yielded, yes. kind of, you have to admit your mistake. Thank you. You have to thing. admit that I've been wrong here. I've been wrong here. Admitting does not mean confessing it out. You admit and you come back to your senses and say, oh, but I was wrong. 
uh, you are the meeting. Pastor Philip, you're speaking some stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our viewers are going to be thinking, what yeah. is he talking about? Yeah. Let me ask you. Yeah. You admit that you were wrong, yeah. correct? Yeah. Do men admit that they were wrong? I, I am. Our viewers over there thinking, is that real? I, I many times admit that I was wrong, even when I'm Don't driving. You lose manhood? And I, no, 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 I've never lost. <laughs> I've never lost any battle where I admit that I'm weak. I am, I'm, no, no, I'm, no, I'm saying you might lose your manhood. No, 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 no. If like, you're not a man okay. anymore and... When I talk know? about admitting your mistake, yeah. I'm not talking about publicizing it. You are no, seated somewhere. Yeah. No, no, no. Before even you talk to your wife, yes. you come to your senses and say, hey, mm -mm, I am wrong. That is admission. You have admitted. You have accepted that you're wrong. Then confessing it out, you're communicating that, you know, honey, I know I was wrong here. Now, before you go ahead, <laughs> yeah. before you go ahead, Pastor Pella, <laughs> our viewers out there, I have a friend of mine. Yes. I mean, she told me when I was saying this, she said, hmm, I'm Shija Tashobi. Seriously? Now, that is culture. That is. You've had somebody believes, I'm Shija Tashobi. Tashobi. Mm. Now, you're telling the Shija mm. to admit they've done what? Wrong. That they're wrong. Yeah. Now, this is culture. How are you going to help there, culture? Okay, and there is the culture. Man? I want you to help this yeah. man who, now, who has grown up knowing Gom Shija Tashobi. Let me take a minute. There is culture and there is marriage. Yeah. These two things are totally different. Yes. Marriage is universal. Whoever says that I was married officially, we all belong to the same clan. Yes. We are in the same culture. Yes. Uh, forgetting about Muchiga, Muganda, Mnyankole, Muchigishuat culture, yes. in marriage we are all married and this is all who we are as married people. Now we are telling in this culture of the marriage. Of the marriage. We according admit, to yeah, according to we admit our mistakes when we are wrong, and the Bible says in Acts chapter three verses nineteen, mm -hmm. if you find out that you're wrong, the Bible yes. says, "Repent ye therefore, yes. and turn away from your wicked ways. Then times of refreshment shall come your way from the presence of God." Yes, those are three said. Repent. So if you admit that you are a sinner, if you admit that I am wrong. To yourself and say, oh, yes. oh, God, I'm wrong. God calls you to repentance. Yes. When you repent, you, you refrain, you turn away, you, you leave. Stop the, doing that you nonsense. stop doing. That way you have not yet even involved the third party. Yes. It's between you and God. Mm -hmm. So if I admit that I'm wrong with this that I've been doing to my family, yes. to my wife, no one knows about it that I've admitted. It's mm -hmm. in me and okay. I've admitted it. Okay. Now, the actions that I'm going to take will demonstrate because I'm leaving the old ways yes i'm turning away from my wicked ways then i'm waiting for the times of refreshment those are the works those are the things we do in our families and we remain men no one knows that i've turned but they see the things and some of the kids some of the the, the, the family members may come here and say well, what happened to you you used to come back at two and now at, at eight you are you're back is anything wrong tell them nothing wrong Nothing I wrong. To no, I decided family. to love my family. I decided to come back to you. Those kids that run in under the chairs, under the bed, you, you go and you them. go and pick them. Hey, John, come out, come out. We need to find. I've seen this program. You're building back, but men okay. don't want to remain on Omshaija, Tashobia, and they keep on doing mistakes that they know they are doing mistakes. Then they don't belong to our culture. As married as people, married, to I want to put God. a line straightly build up. There is a wall between our culture, there were, according to our tribes, according to our tribes and our culture of according married people. Of because all of us were married, yes. the only thing that puts us in unity is we have women that yes. who are women. Yes. Can I repeat? We have women in our houses who are women they with are women. breasts. Yes. So those are women. Yes. We have children. Yes. So this is a different culture. Yes. We take responsibility of our families. Yes. No one takes care of our women. Thank you. And sometimes that's why some of the men have gone extra mile because they don't want extra many authority in the lives of their wives with a good mind, with a good sense. They have even not allowed their women to work in companies to work in other settings. They set up jobs, they set up initiative for their women to remain, can I call it, uh, uh, relevant? 
Can I call it that way? <laughs> so that they are the only one that say something and they are hard. Not, oh, you know, I have to go very early. My boss has said this. Not restraining women from working, but, but taking an says, extra let mile. Let me do something better for yeah. you. Let me so do, you don't yeah. have to go through all this. Yeah, divide your attention. Your yes. boss said, I now, said. You said that there's yeah. something when you mention. Yeah. Is it proper for you, the mshisha, mm -hmm. to the man, mm -hmm. to go to your wife? Mm -hmm and say i ask for forgiveness oh. i have not treated you correctly yeah i have not treated you right mm -hmm. because most of what is properly interpreted as mm. nagging yeah she has a lot of frustration yeah you pretend to be the big man mm -hmm. and yet you have all this nonsense that you keep acting like a child mm -hmm. and then she will keep coming back to you because she's just too tired Oh, can you, you come to her and repent because you see an apology you may give excuses yes but repenting is saying i'm not doing this again yes even when i fall i'll stand up but i'm not doing this again mm. so should a man don't you lose manhood when you come and repent before your wife <laughs> i call it love her back okay I, i'm trying to spice it so yes. that people will understand yes love her back Yes. Get her back. Yes. Win her back. Yes. Get this woman. You know how to handle this woman. Because even when she didn't know all about you, yes. you convinced her to leave the parents and come and join you to yes. live together. Yes. So you have the extreme art of how to get her back. If you have offended, if you have done wrongs, if you, went, you have gone to extremes yes. that beyond even mentioning, yes. love her back in loving her back repentance is included of thank the things you. you have committed thank you because you are turning away from them as i said earlier yes. now this is what comes to my mind when yes. someone mentions about repentance mm -hmm. repentance is not a punishment mm -hmm. repentance is not a punishment I'm it is i might lose money no 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 you're not losing anything you're repent. gaining because oh. when we repent and we come back to God, we gain being children of God. You're I'm being built I am back. I am back. Wiser yeah. than I was. I'm before. back. The same way to our women. Yes. When you say, honey, and there is no way of doing it than confessing it. Don't do actions. Don't buy a car. Don't buy land. Don't buy dresses. Don't uh, buy gifts. Now you, don't, bro, you just don't, That something. is bribing. You, uh, the better way to repent is through confession, through communication, as we said earlier. My Pastor, God. before you go any further, to look into the face of this Harriet of yours. Yes. And say, honey, you have even the standing point of the sweet words to speak, and she's not irritated. Go to where she's cooking from in the kitchen. Pet her, rub her on the shoulders, in, and then she turns around because she's not used to that. Yes. And she's like, what? Honey, What's going on? I'm here to say I am sorry Woo! of the things I've been doing. She can even cry. Don't even make her quiet. Let hold her cry. Her. Hold her. Close and say, you know, I'm sorry. I'm, so she's kept I'm loving you back. I call that love her back. She's yours already. Yeah. By all ways we have harassed her, yeah. she's yours. She has not left your house. Love her back. Women yeah. want this. You're going to find comments. Women will say yes. If we can find those men, just one word. The whole battle of the night can be quenched in the morning by saying, honey, before I leave this house, I am sorry. I have thought of this and I'm, I'm really and sorry. by the way, do you know men need to know this? Mm -hmm. If you are not at peace with your wife, mm -hmm. if you're not at peace with your wife, mm. this is what is going to happen. Yes. Your prayers will be hindered. Mm? When you pray, your prayers are hindered. Mm. So when you mention, before you leave in the morning, mm. make peace with her. Mm. Ask for forgiveness. Mm. And she will embrace you. Yes. She will give you a chance. Yes. And when she's still mad, don't quit. Don't. Now, let me bring this in. I know our time is really running, mm -hmm. but let me bring this in. Because mm -hmm. now we're showing how they can come together yeah we have drilled on the side of yes. men now to answer yes. yes and now you're looking at uh, 
because many times we've said the woman will nag and mm, all this mm -hmm. and we've shown the man that you have to take responsibility yeah. and the nagging will not stand yes. and if you're called upon to your responsibility it's a sign of respect mm. please take respect in and learn to see your woman as your equal mm. because that will help you as you take the respect in you respect her back mm. by listening to her mm -hmm. the reason many men don't respect women is because they themselves don't understand respect mm. but if you understand respect and you give it to yourself yes. you give it to your woman yes now here is one thing yes we've heard women say yes the man or, or it has been said culturally mm. men don't nag it's women who do it mm-hmm but I want to say, you've seen a man come back home and talk to his wife mm. and say, he says, Ooh, we're going to make it tonight, baby. I mm. need me some. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're going to make some love tonight. Mm -hmm. She says, no. <laughs> uh, 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 tonight, no. No. Uh, no. And then After goes, an hour. No. After an hour. No. no. And then you get in bed and she says, please. Don't. Say, no, don't. Yeah. And you're like, you know all these things you're doing you've actually developed nagging now mm -hmm. you yourself you, you you as a man you're nagging her yeah and it would be the other way around that mm. i would rather go and live on the rooftop than with a <laughs> nagging man in the house yes because that's why she runs out of the bedroom yeah and then she, she will goes go, to the rooftop she goes of, to the of, rooftop of her understanding because you're not there's no understanding <laughs> yeah. but now the best thing is these men yes how do you tell a man who nags because they've been saying, the woman telling me, telling me, but a man comes in and sex and says, now, yeah. now, mm. now. Mm. And then he says, the woman doesn't want to make love to me. Mm. How do you deal with such a man? Uh, to me, in respect, when someone says no, no is a no, that is part of respect. If someone Thank tells you no, that is part of respect you can give really? back to her by not nagging. Thank you. Now. If there are reasons as to why she said no, she will choose to tell you the reasons. Yes. If you ask once and Thank she you. says no, if you ask her twice in love and she says no, then that is respect if you don't go ahead and nag. Then you yes. have represented us, all of us men, yes. well, and you deserve a high five. If you really respect your wife to the extent that when she says no to something, you, she, doesn't you, yes. she doesn't mean yes, as interpreted in some other cultures. Very, very twisted, culture. And now, this one thing I want to understand, and I want to bring it about, that people will discuss it maybe as we are like ending. Mm -hmm. Now, if you love somebody, don't expect love back. Yes. Because love is an offering. It's about giving. It's about giving. Yes. And many of men and women, when they give, they expect a payment. That's a transaction. That's a transaction. That's Don't a transaction. show her that when she gives you something, you have to give something. Or about your address, baby. So and uh, I, that, is, that is what is wrong. <laughs> the time you don't have a dress to give, you then don't have nothing. them yum yum the way you want it. <laughs> so don't create things that you're going to do a transaction. Yeah. If love is shown then the things that come out of love you enjoy them both of you yes so love is like a seed that is planted yes. in the ground yes. i know i know i know you are a farmer your wife is a farmer yes. when we plant banana plantation you don't go the next day and expect a bunch of banana to come out of that absolutely not. we do things and we expect them after a time yes because we don't know that they are going to do A, B, C, D in the yes. meantime. Yes. If you love your wife, don't expect it back. I have loved my wife. I've done A, B, C, D. She's I've bought a house. I've bought a car. She's not loving me back. So she's not looking to those things. She's now admiring who you are, not the gifts you give. This. Now, l l l let me say this. Yes. Let me add something. Else. Yes. You see, most men have mm. a weakness. Mm. And it's a sense of fear. Yes. They have a weakness. Mm. They... Believe the way to love a woman mm. is to give her things. Mm. You can give somebody things without loving them. Yes. But you cannot love them without giving them. Yeah. So to most of the people, like you mentioned it. Yeah. Yes. When you love a woman, mm. learn to give yourself first. Yes. And then things come in. Yeah. Don't hide behind things so that you don't give yourself mm -hmm. 
So she you, needs you. you. She needs you. In this marriage, the only thing she needs is you. She married you, yeah. not the things. Not the things. No. And now this time. is what I want to wind out with if oh, you give you allow oh, me. Don't see her as a weak partner. Consider her as your equal. As your equal. Uh -huh. That one, you'll die for it, Pastor Silas. Oh wait, I'm ready for it. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm now, ready for it. I want to wind up by saying don't yes. consider your wife as a weak partner in this relationship. You are 50 50 equal in the marriage in the eyes of God. On us, with us, about us, we may see your wife as a small lady. In fact, it's a hundred, a hundred. Yeah, it, 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 we may see your wife is a hundred and uh, you're like less. That is us. We may see your husband a hundred plus and the wife is kind of less. That is us. But between you two people, you are at the same percentage, if I can use that. Yes. I want to encourage my brother. I want to encourage my sister who is agonizing with all these nagging statements. Stop the nagging and tell her, tell him straight, you know what, this is your responsibility. By doing this, I'm respecting you. Let him understand that okay. whatever you're trying to tell him, you're respecting. My fellow man, my character man, whoever, whatever background you come out with, please, please listen respectively then you'll have the bliss you're looking for in your marriage. God bless you. I remain Pastor Philip Nyombi, and I love you all. I'll continue to be here whenever I'm needed in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, yeah. Pastor Philip Nyombi. It's really been a pleasure, and I just enjoy myself. It is just so clear. Really, you love a woman? It's not about things. Be a man. Stop being a coward. You know, be courageous enough love a woman yes sit down with her she is your equal in fact as long as you don't believe she's your equal you'll always think she's behaving like a child but she is your equal according to god take that in and that will satisfy you Thank you for watching and locking Merida Bliss. It's just been a pleasure. Now you understand that nagging is not gender sensitive at all whatsoever. It does not depend on gender. It's evil and it shows failed communication. And I want you to understand that you should never ever try to say it's all about the female. No, no, no. Nagging is failed communication and you gotta know that the man plays a role, very big role to empower a woman to nag. And I assure you that yes, no matter what happens, Unlocking Merida Bliss is the place for you to learn and succeed in marriage. See you next time. And remember, marriage is easy. Ignorance is hard. See you next time. Moreto Bliss.